YouTube, Tommy here from Green Rhino. I'm doing a commercial building job today. Um, well, office. It's uh, it's pretty soiled up. She said she had um, another carpet cleaner come in here, and it was a nightmare. Uh, she didn't want to get into specifics, but um, I guess it didn't come out as good. She she uh, she thought it would. It was like a friend of a friend kind of deal. So. Uh, they're out, so they hired me to, to come clean this thing. And I think I'm going to go ahead and go with the, um, even though it is pretty soiled, I'm going to start out with the uh, low moisture, and I'm going to see what that's looking like. And I'm close enough, and I'm also going to use my Hydro Force to put down the, um, the uh, pre-spray, so I will be using my truck mount. Uh, so if I decide to change my mind and do some um, hot water extraction, be easy enough to pull in some extra hoses and and there I go. Um, and I could change my mind in between now and then. <laughs> I don't know, but this looks like a, um, kind of a bleach bleach spot. She wasn't worried about it. And uh, yeah, so definitely I'm uh, gonna do some good agitation on it. And I have um, many tools for ag agitation. I have, let me walk out to my van. I'm definitely going to do a good vacuum first too, as you can tell. So, I have many different tools for different uh, situations, right? I have my um, power flight here. It's got the counter-rotating brushes on it. Um, great agitation for residential kind of high, higher pile carpet I don't love it so much though on the um, the, uh, the uh, cart the commercial carpet um, I got my ort here with the green brush works great for um, commercial and residential but it's so small right and I got my 175 which I'll be doing a little moisture and I have my big black brush right here and it scrubs the best for a uh, commercial grade carpet. Um, the stuff you can, with this, you can, I'll whip right through that room in no time. And I'm going to get the best scrub out of it. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and vacuum and get started. Alright, so all vacuumed up. Really good vacuum. Um, it's always uh, one of the main steps in carpet cleaning. So, if you hire a carpet cleaner and he doesn't vacuum, and you know you haven't, then there's a reason why he's so cheap. So, um, I'm going to use my Hydro Force only because I already had the solution mixed up and I didn't have any. Um, I, didn't, I wasn't sure whether I was into hot water extraction or um, low moisture. So, I just said, so, you know, if I get there, I'm going to go low moisture. I'm just going to go ahead and use my Hydro Force. Otherwise, guys, if you're just getting into the uh, business and you're considering VLM cleaning, um, you just get a pump-up sprayer.
Well, that's it. Uh, I don't know how long that took me, but it probably took me about seven minutes or something. And you can tell the carpets already look clean. But no, 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 I'm not going to stop at that. I'm going to go ahead and extract. Um, stay tuned. As you can tell, although it looked clean already, you can really tell the difference. Yeah, see the transition area there?
I flipped this one over um, and I decided to stop right here and, and uh, just show you that the uh, pad is centered on the part. All right, we've got a buffer, okay? A circular motion, all right? Um, this is the way uh, I do a lot of floor cleaning and everything. It's just um, spinning, right? And I love the big, the black brush because it has brushes all the way through. So it's contact all the way through. The orc orbiter just has an outside, right? Um, the orc orbiter has a orbiting motion. It kind of goes like this. Right, kind of wobbly look. Um, you know, this was the first side before I switched it over. You know, you put you put your um. This might piss a lot of people off. Oops. See, that's what I get for talking about pissing people off. But this might piss a lot of people off. But um. You see how I put that pad offset, making sure that I don't have any of these uh, pointy things uh, contacting the carpet. But see how it's offset? Guess what, guys? Now we have an orbiter. Orbiter. Except this is a 17-inch orbiter. Can't do that with the scrubber. because the scrubber you can't put on offset. But as you can tell, that that uh, rotation looks familiar to it. The uh, buffer's wobbling a little bit. That looks familiar to it. Am I wrong? I don't know. But uh, I think I'm right. 17 inch orbiter right here. <laughs> this is a uh, triple S. Um, low speed buffer 175 cost about 700 bucks great machine all right well I'm gonna wrap this up so what I'm gonna say today the MVT not MVP most valuable tool today I think was the uh, the big black brush, you know, uh, it just does such a great agitation um, with speed. You know, it just got so many contacts on that. And we just ripped through this job and without that, that agitation. I don't think it could have came out looking like that. All right, I'm gonna walk my way out of here. Work my way out of here. It's the only area I got to do next. And yeah, job well done, I think. Let me know what you think. Give me a like, subscribe, and comment. Um, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And uh, if you like it, like it. If you don't like it, um, well, let's move on to the next video, guy. <laughs> All right. See you in the next one.